I really have huge, huge respect for Pakistan because Pakistan has been a good enemy since '47. So, well, he has been. We well should. Said, well said. I'll, I'll talk on that. Issue. Yeah. No, there was so much of butchering. Right. Lakhs of people died. Hmm. They were mercilessly cut upon, rape, loot. The mayhem of Baramulla, if you know by Kabali, 12 days. Right. There was loot, lust, and plunder in the town of Baramulla. Right. I have my relatives from there, my nani is from Baramulla. Hmm. And we have heard stories from her and other old people who were eyewitnesses that time, including right. my dad, right. who was a second year college student of Amar Singh College in Serena. Baramulla, just short of Baramulla, two kilometers, my mother's village, Singapore. So they are eyewitnesses, they have told us everything. Girls were raped. Mm. After raping, they were picked up live and thrown into Jhelum River. Right. They were killed. Large number of fathers, Sikh and Hindu fathers, killed their daughters, axed them, so that they don't fall into the hand of these things. Kawaii, they were coming right. and they are subject to this kind of brutalities. Right. So all that happened for 12 days. Mm. They did not even spare the hospital, the St. Joseph's convent now, earlier the hospital by the, right. by the Christian. Right. The nuns and mother superior were raped by these people, killed. Right. So it was a very sad story which yes. went in. And that is the basis of hatred of Indians, civilians with the Pakistanis. Right. As far as my army, yes. uh, appreciation of a Pakistan soldier or Pakistan army, you very rightly put across and I am happy to learn from you. That you are saying Pakistan is a good end. See, <laughs> can't yes. Let me qualify that. And large number of people don't even understand this and talk about it even in the Army Navy Air Force. Right. You know, Klaus Witts, a famous general, right. I, I had said, right. never underestimate your enemy. Hmm. If you under, underestimate your enemy, you are bound to fail. Right. Because he might be stronger than you at that point of time. He may have better troops, he may have better equipment, right. better strategies and tactics and you lose that battle. Right. So we have been somehow underestimating Pakistan. Hmm. I, for one, have never underestimated Pakistan. I say Pakistan army is a thoroughly professional army. Mm. They always take the lead and the initiative. Right. They have preempted all wars, right. all actions against India. General uh, Ziaul Haq, yeah. again, look at his foresight and right. thought. You know, his foresight and thought does not end at Op Topak, right. which was to avenge India, the Bangladesh revenge. Right by thousand cuts and bleed India. Yeah. India is a massive Goliath, right. where Pakistan was small in size, so it could not outrightly kill India. Mm. So it believed in the theory of thousand cuts, bleed India soft, right. you know, slowly. And that's how the insurgency in Kashmir started. Yes. It's happened now for 30 years. Right. It's carrying on. And Indian Army does not have a strategy to sort it. After 30 years, you go and say your surgical strike number one you've done. That is nothing. That is nonsense. Right. One surgical strike or putting Balakot, uh, strike by the Air Forces should have been done 20 years back right. or 25 years ago right. to cut it in the nip it in the bud. Right. That now you are doing it so late that means you never understood your enemy, you never appreciated your enemy. Right. There was no policy, there was right. no political will, right. there was no military will. Right. This was lacking in the country and still is lacking. Right. But I won't uh, hesitate to say but with the BJP government now coming, right. there is emergence of political will. I, I, I see that. Many people Anybody see yes. can see that. I got nothing to do with the parties. I am a political man. Sure. I never voted in my life for any party. <laughs> yeah. 